Hey guys! Okay, so what we're going to do is prime our eyes and I already have my concealer and foundation on. So we're just going to make sure that this is all prepped and ready to go for this eyeshadow. What we're going to be using is the Shan XO Quad from ColourPop. I love the colors that she's provided in this. I think they're beautiful and they do blend so nicely together when you put them on. So this one is Selfie, and I'm gonna use this as a transition color in the socket area and just make sure that I get it all blended in the crease area because I wanna make sure that it's nice and flawless using this fluffy brush from Sigma. Then I'm gonna go through and use Deluxe, and this is a darker tone color. It's kind of a sparkly reddish brown tone, and it's really gorgeous in the um, outer edge of the eye or the outer V. And just kind of warming that um, that whole area up I believe that it would give it just a little bit more depth and it really brings a lot of dimension to the eye now I'm going through with XO and that is it's a beautiful champagne sheer color I love this and looking back on this now I should have used my fingers to apply this in the inner eye area so that I could have gotten a little bit more true to pigment to what these shadows really are because they are very mousse like so it's a little hard to apply with a brush uh, next time i'm definitely going to be using my fingers to apply these then maybe use a fluffy brush and um, buff them out but this is what i went ahead and did was apply it with a brush a flat shader brush and now i'm taking a big fluffy brush and kind of just blending this all together i don't want it to be too pigmented because and i don't want there to be any harsh lines that's why i'm using this brush but I really should have applied all of these with my fingers. Um, I was reading afterwards that that's probably the best way to use these shadows. So the next um, tutorial I do, I will definitely be doing that instead. So now what I'm doing is just darkening up that outer edge because I felt like I lost some of that pigment. And now I'm going to go through with Rebel. Rebel is really cool. It's actually like an army green and it's a matte finish. I really like this color for the... Uh, lower lash line because I feel like it just gives it that pop of color when you have all neutrals So it's nice that that was added in the quad once I'm done buffing this out with the pencil brush I'm gonna go in and tight line my lashes on the upper water line and You've seen me do this a million times I'm just gonna do the exact same thing just go up there and add a little bit of black and make sure that those lashes look a little bit fuller at that lash line then I'm going to go through with my NYX Wonder Pencil and I'm going to use that on the bottom waterline to kind of make my eyes look a little bit bigger and my eye whites look a little bit brighter. It really does help with that. Once I'm done, then I'm going to go in with my mascara and this is my Scandalize Rimmel Mascara that I just received from my Bella Vox box. And I actually really like this brush, but I'm kind of still on the fence about the actual product itself. It does tend to flake a lot. So I have um, tried this for just a few days now, and I love the way that it applies. I love the way that it looks in the very beginning when you first do it, but it does tend to flake. Um, then I'm going to go in with my Makeup Revolution. This is my new brow palette. I got this a couple days ago in the mail and I wanted to share it with you guys. This is amazing. I might do a review with this um, all on its own, just do a standalone review because this is absolutely amazing. The pigment that you get is ridiculous. It works so well and can I just tell you that I've had the best brow day of my life when I film this because of this palette. So if you guys are thinking about getting it or in the market for some brow products, that's the way to go for sure. Now I'm going to use the Anastasia Brow Gel and just make sure that these are all staying in place because my brows like to, you know, do some weird stuff in the afternoon and come apart and just not look great. So I like to make sure that they're all gelled down. Now I'm taking Pearl and this is a eyeshadow from Ulta and I'm just putting it on the on the brow bone and going to put it in my inner corner just to give it a pop of color and shimmer. Now I'm going to add my lashes and these are Andrea's Strip Lashes for 21 and I really love these. These are just like Ardell's. I think they're the same company, they just have a different name. 
Um, and then we're going to go ahead and after we get them all taken care of and put on, we're going to make sure that they blend together with the natural lashes with some more mascara. Then I'm going in with telescopic and doing my lower lash line because this is my favorite mascara for lower lashes. I know that's high maintenance, but it is what it is. <laughs> then I'm going to take my Milani's Romantic Rose Blush and just add that to the cheeks. And then we're going to go in with a little bit of Chocolate Soleil and just not contour, but bronze up my face just a little bit. After that, I think we're going to be almost all set here. We just need to do a little lip action and get some lipstick on this face here. And what we're going to use is uh, Coco, and this is by Beauty Brands. I couldn't tell you the name of this lipstick to save my life, but it is amazing and I love it. So that is the final look, guys. I hope that you like this. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great night, guys, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.